Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Eagle Politics. Make sure you like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So Donald Trump has come out and he has said he will be arrested on Tuesday amid an investigation that has been taking place at the hands of the Manhattan District Attorney. We know that they have tried to get this guy for years. This has been a recurring theme. They tried to impeach him several times over obvious nonsense, and they failed back in 2019 with the Ukraine thing, and in 2021 with the whole 1-6. They wasted time after he left office trying to impeach him. Why exactly did he do that, you may ask? And it's because they want to prevent him from running again. They want to purge him and everything that his movement represents out of the Republican Party and out of politics and government as a whole. And we know that. And that's why they have kept going after this guy. They could basically lock anybody up for pretty much anything in this country. And we know that by now. We've seen the criminal justice system been weaponized against American patriots time and time again over the past five to ten years or so. And now it seems like they're doing it again. Finally, Donald Trump anticipates an arrest after years of them trying to find something wrong, after years of them trying to find a reason to put him behind bars. And what is the reason for this? Oh, they're going back to the Stormy Daniels case, which is laughable for multiple reasons, which we're going to get into in this video. But first, I have to tell you guys about our very good friends over at Noble Gold, because the second and third largest bank failures in history happened last week. The government is taking steps to guarantee all deposits, which means more money printing. Thousands have approached Noble Gold Investments to secure their wealth with gold. Gold is the most stable asset outside of government control. Hurry and go to noblegoldinvestments.com or our link below at readygoldgold.com to secure your wealth and get a free 5-ounce America the Beautiful coin if you qualify. That's readygoldgold.com. The link's in the description and pinned comment down below, readygoldgold.com. So Trump has said he will be arrested on Tuesday. He's anticipating arrest. He's calling for protests, which again, if people do decide to protest, please don't be dumb. We know that there are likely going to be feds that are going to infiltrate these protests. Personally, I think trying to register voters, get involved in the political system uh, is probably the best protest to this. Make sure you can go out there and register as many voters for Trump in the primary. And by the way, it's going to help him. Elon Musk tweeted out as well that he believes if Donald Trump is actually arrested and they go through with a trial, that it's going to guarantee a landslide victory for Donald Trump in 2024. Elon Musk is not really a very big fan of Trump. Trump has attacked Elon Musk and vice versa. Musk has kind of reinvented himself as center-right. He's kind of dissipated some, but not all, of the censorship on Twitter since he's taken over. He's drained the swamp over there a decent amount. He's released a lot of Twitter files about COVID and the 2020 election, etc., that have been very important. But still, not really a big Trump guy. He's a big DeSantis 2024 guy, actually. Uh, that's who he is claiming to support. And what we do know is that he's even out here saying that this is going to help Donald Trump because it's total nonsense. What can Trump do? He can go out there and he can say, hey, I'm the one fighting for you. Look at the economy under me. Look at how great things were overseas under me. Uh, but under Biden, they're a disaster. The system wants the disaster. They want the chaos. They want me locked up so I can't serve the people again. And because they don't want somebody that's going to be fighting for them. That is good messaging from Donald Trump. That can win him the 2024 election. And we'll probably see more of that in the coming months. But we know Donald Trump was dipping after the midterms. He was down below 40% in primary polls. That has changed. He's now up at or above 50%. Some of the early polls in some of these early states, he's decimating DeSantis, who is not yet announced by 30 points or so. And we're going to get into DeSantis's role in this in a minute, because he could actually have the saving role of stopping this if he really wants to. And it probably would be politically advantageous for him for more reasons than one. But still, what I will say 
is that you look at Donald Trump and he's rising yet again. In certain polls, he's risen 10, 15, 20 points since they conducted polls after the midterms, which were not really his fault, but he's bared some of the blame. It was not a politically advantageous thing to happen to him, regardless if it was his fault or not. Now he's being arrested because of Stormy Daniels, the Stormy Daniels case where she claimed Trump had an affair with her and that Trump paid hush money to her, and this is a an alleged thing. And we know that he successfully has sued her for slander before. Her scumbag, creepy attorney is now behind bars for a very long time for exploitation. And it's just all ridiculous. This is a Soros-backed DA who has already politically targeted people like Steve Bannon. What is he doing now? He's going after Donald J. Trump. And we know this. And it's total nonsense. They're going on and on and on about this. And they're trying to find something about this guy to basically get him out of the political arena. That is all this has to do with. It's, It's not because they care about the rule of law. No, they've weaponized the office to target their political opponents. And they are using the criminal justice system to lock up anybody for literally nothing. And we'll see if there really is anything. Because they've tried to get this guy ever since he announced his run back in 2015. They've tried to get him for something. He became uh, this evil villain. He used to be a well-liked individual among all facets of the media. He was a celebrity. He was a businessman. He was a symbol of wealth. And then he became like an awful businessman the second that he ran for president. He became an awful businessman. He became a, a fascist. They threw all these names at him. And now he's apparently a criminal. And they've been trying to get him on something. They've said Trump's going to jail for the longest time. Now it seems like he might be arrested. And you see people like Kevin McCarthy going out there defending Donald Trump, uh, saying it's an abuse of power by a radical DA, which is exactly what it is. J.D. Vance going on the offensive here, saying Alvin Bragg, the DA that is in charge of handling this case is bought by Soros, allows violent criminals to walk the streets in New York City, but will prosecute the likely Republican nominee and former president, keep in mind Vance has already endorsed Trump, on a baseless misdemeanor charge. And this is why I support Donald Trump. He is still that threat to the system. And contrary to popular belief, I think he's more electable than people give him credit for. I think DeSantis at times has done some good things down in Florida, But at the same time, he's not that major threat to the system. He's just a status quo politician. You know, he had a very weak response to the Mar-a-Lago raid, which he just called the MAL raid. Didn't even bring up Donald Trump's name, which didn't exactly sit well with a lot of people. And now he has a role in this as well. And we'll we'll get to it in a second. But uh, J.D. Vance says, hell no, he's not rescinding his endorsement. It's going to make the argument for Trump stronger. We simply don't have a real country if justice depends on politics, which is true. J.D. Vance, arguably the best senator in the country right now. We could have had more of those, but they fell short because the system didn't properly uh, fund them on the right, and we have problems there. And then Lee Zeldin, who is the almost governor of the state of New York, he lost by six points in a state where Biden won by close to 25, he said Alvin Bragg may very well be the most dangerous, divisive, incompetent, and compromised district attorney in America. On day one, my first action as governor would have been to tell Bragg that he was being fired. And this is true. Lee Zeldin, who is an electoral juggernaut, apparently, comparatively speaking, in New York, and he's still going out there, and he is defending Donald Trump uh, yet again, which is good. And we know that. But furthermore, we know that DeSantis does have an interesting role in this because he could refuse to honor the arrest warrant for Donald Trump as the governor of the state, and he could send the Florida National Guard to Mar-a-Lago to ensure Donald Trump's protection. But will he do that? Because if he did that, I think it would make the argument for DeSantis 2024 stronger because, hey, he's actually supporting the guy who's the threat to the system. He's actually doing everything in his power, not just even performative statements, to use action to defend Donald Trump. And he probably would see an uptick in his support if he did that. He could be the guy that says, 
that he likes Trump. Trump was a great president. He just wants to like be this different type of guy who runs on his effectiveness or whatever. I don't know what the argument necessarily will be. I don't think that the argument for DeSantis 2024 is strong enough so long as Donald Trump is going out there and he's on message and he is promoting the best policy that he's ever promoted for, of his entire political career. He's measured, he's skillful, uh, he's trying to get things done. But I will say that DeSantis, if he ignores this and he just doesn't talk about it at all, it's not really going to end up very well for him politically because a, a lot of Republicans, even some of those people who may be supporting Ron DeSantis so far in the primary or they support somebody else or they're just undecided between Trump or DeSantis, they're probably going to look into this and they're going to say, hey, Trump is still the guy. And it's probably going to help him. We saw the Mar-a-Lago raid happen and then Trump's pick for the governor of Wisconsin, Tim Michaels, ended up winning the primary by five or six points or so. And the polls were really neck and neck. A lot of people thought he wouldn't win that primary. He went out there and he won it, which kind of showed that Trump's influence may have energized a lot of Republicans in that primary for his side of things. And arguably, you could say it backfired in the general because Michaels just was not that good of a candidate overall. But that's neither here nor there. What we do know is that this is going to help Donald Trump in the primary. And I don't believe it's really going to hurt him too much in a general election. It could actually be something that can bolster his campaign. He's going out there and he's slamming the establishments of both parties just like it's 2015 or 2016 all over again. And that's very good. And another takeaway that I have of this is that George Soros, you talk about these DAs, he spent $40 million in the 2022 midterms getting left-wing district attorneys and a lot of these local officials elected all over the country. And it's like, what is our operation for this? Because it starts from the ground up, and he got a lot of very far-left people elected who on the right is going to do the same thing? Obviously, we can have people run for Congress or Senate or whatever, but a lot of the change happens at the local level, state representatives. We need an operation like this for ourselves. We need to be getting our people in power in terms of the justice system, in terms of these low-level offices that actually hold a decent amount of pull. And that is very true. So keep that in mind. But this is absolutely ridiculous. Trump getting arrested for what? For something that's basically already been settled? Something that's total nonsense? A total witch hunt, as Trump would say. Yeah, it doesn't sit well with me, but it's probably going to help Trump regardless, and I don't think he's going to be put away for it because there's really no case here. But in this justice system, you never really know. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like this video down below, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media, the links are all in the description down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.